Detroit's bankruptcy today. This could be a game changer. Yes, indeed. Jim Kirstner is live downtown with the details for us. Hi, Jim. Carolyn and Stephen, the headline of the day is general system retirees, the non-uniform retirees, 12,000, a 4.5% cut in their pensions, much, much better than the 26% cut. It was on the table for several weeks. There will also be no cost of living adjustment, but there's a much greater, more human story behind all of these numbers, and that is many, many of these retirees rely on every dollar. I am happy to see that something reasonable is being done. I'm not ready to go and sign off on it because I don't trust it. I have not seen no paperwork or nothing. We introduced you to Donald Smith for the first time last year, just as Governor Rick Snyder first started talking about cutting pensions in Detroit's bankruptcy. Don wanted to meet him. I want him to have a face, to see my face, to know that I'm, I'm a human being. His view of the governor and the others forcing his plight in bankruptcy has grown even stronger. United States of America is the most wonderful country in the world. We used to have dreams. He's taken them. Don can only afford to live here in Highland Park on a monthly pension of $800 plus another $1,000 in Social Security. After his fixed expenses, he often has to pick whether to eat or use his meds. The bankruptcy plan includes money to keep retirees like Don from falling below the federal poverty line. I may not have no idea but to have to sign it because I'm poor. This is like putting a gun to me and telling me I got to accept it. That says it all, doesn't it? Don and all retirees had their health care cut by the city in bankruptcy this year with no say-so. He doesn't like the fact that the appeal to the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals on these pension cuts will be dropped if all employee groups sign on. That appears to be the case tonight. Stephen, Carolyn. All right. Thanks a lot, Jim.